Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Dex Heller's mob schedule irritates Jocelyn Jacks, who then cheats with Adam. Joshua Bernard, who played Adam on the popular soap opera General Hospital, is resuming his role. The majority of viewers are aware that Josh not only appeared on the daytime drama once, but also has a link to it because he is Morris Bernard's son. In 2022, Adam made a couple cameos on GH and appeared in scenes alongside Jocelyn Jacks. Should Dex Heller worry when he comes back? Adam and Joss Jacks on General Hospital get a little closer. Joss will develop a friendship with a university acquaintance, according to GH Fall Teasers. Will Adam's impending return mean that the friend teases are true? And how close will Joss and Adam become? Will they just get along? Or is there more to this story than that? For those who remember, Joss's video with Cameron Weber went viral throughout the school, and Adam first said something unsettling to her. Even though he was inappropriate when they first met, he later expressed regret for his remarks. G.H. Could Dex Heller Cheat on Jocelyn Jacks? Recently, Dex and Joss have been like ships in the night. While Miss Jack has been preoccupied with studies, friends, going to concerts, and other activities common to university students, Heller has been immersed in mod work for Sunny. Jocelyn wants Dex to leave the Mafia, but it's unlikely that will happen anytime soon. Unfortunately, there may be a trend emerging if you look at Ms. Jax's previous romantic relationships. She jumped into Dex's arms when she and Cam started drifting apart, cheating on Weber before breaking up with him. GA spoilers required Monday, September 18. Blair threatens Martin, Brooke Lynn admits it, and Valentin receives a shock. It's difficult to imagine this never occurring again. If Adam happens to be in one of Joss's classes, or fate keeps putting them in each other's spheres on a regular basis, she might do to Dex what she did to Cam if their schedules continue to endure conflict after conflict. There is a resemblance between Lorenzo and Luis Alcazar, is one Dex's father. Rumors and spoilers for General Hospital tease there is a similarity between Dex Heller's father and Lorenzo or Luis Alcazar, Ted King. Dex would only admit to being a abused child and having two brothers before fleeing and enlisting in the army at a young age. Of course, it may be a lie. Hospital in general, nobody truly knows Dex Heller's origins or true identity. Nobody truly knows Dex's origins, true identity, or even his age. He might have been placed for adoption if he had been Louis Kidd and no one, not even he, knew about it. Given that Brenda Barrett and Louis Barrett were lovers from 1998 to 2002, if he were their love child, his birth would most likely take place in 2002. Although it's possible, it's unlikely that he is the child of Louis and Brenda because it would put him in his early 20s. Instead, he merely seems a little older, possibly in his late 20s. If Dex was adopted, he probably doesn't know who his original parents were, and some kids are put in abusive families despite screening. Sometimes they slip through the cracks. That would be a motive to join the army immediately after high school graduation in order to get out of that circumstance as soon as possible. Interesting relationship. When Dex was so enraged that he wanted to kill Sonny Corintos, Michael Corintos discovered him working for a mercenary organization. There are rumors that Pikeman, the Pikeman, the leader of the mercenary organization, could be Luis or Lorenzo. Therefore, before being hired by Michael, Dex may have been working either consciously or unintentionally for his birth father. If Lorenzo is or was his father, it raises interesting similarities because Carly Spencer, the mother of Jocelyn Jacks, was married to Lorenzo for a year. Showed RDA drew fights for his life in the ICU as Cyrus threatens Sonny with retaliation. Hospital in general positive, negative, or still a plant? The question of whether Dex is a good guy, an evil guy, or still a plant, only a plant for pikemen, arises if Dex is an Alcazar, 
and that Alcazar is Pikeman. Is Sonny's antagonist Pikeman Security Group or a client? Will it turn out that Dex turned Sonny into the feds a second time with solid proof? Out of retaliation or on Lewis's orders? Dex is the subject of numerous questions due of the uncertainty and mystery surrounding his past. And is the reason he seems to be so close to Sonny because Brenda should have been his birth mother. The romance of Joss and Dex is changed by blast from the past. Incorporating thrilling comebacks and crossovers into the storyline is something General Hospital is really good at. Fortunately for the soap, the majority of these changes are benefiting them and proving to be tremendous hits with the audience. Fans have been vocally requesting the makers to make these upgrades permanent on social media. Joshua Bernard as Adam is the newest name to be added. The last occasion was in 2022 when I was Joss' classmate. He has since returned, and we worry what storm he will bring. Furthermore, for Kum, maybe there's trouble in paradise for Joss and Dex. Enter now to find out. Adam and Joss meet on General Hospital. All right. Okay, first of all, yes, the real-life son of General Hospital actor Morris Bernard is Joshua Bernard. Now getting back to the story at hand, when we first met Adam, he was Joss' classmate back in the day, and he mocked Joss for the tape that had been leaked. He made some offensive remarks to her. He soon understood his errors, though. He quickly apologized and begged Joss's pardon in an effort to mend it. Fortunately, she made the mature decision to forgive him. Hospital in general. Joss and Adam meet in G8. There was a brief moment when Joss and Adam's orbits intersected when that happened when it seemed like there might be more to them on General Hospital. She was, however, fully committed to Cameron at the time, whereas Adam simply vanished without a trace or explanation. That is about to change, though. During the episode from September 14, 2023, Joss and Adam once more came into contact. Adam showed up just as Joss was settling into her dorm and informed her that he was also moving in just down the hall from her. Even exchanging acquaintances with Dex, he said. Adam invites her to join a study group he's organizing before he separates Joss and Dex. Hand Dex seconds that. Whoops! Have we suddenly sensed a problem? If Adam and Joss get closer, would Dex and Joss split up? Joss and Dex are not invulnerable on General Hospital just because they are dating. She was very reliable with Cam as well, and we all know what transpired there. Although it was definitely exciting when Joss and Dex started dating, primarily because their chemistry was incredible, especially in their hot-tempered love scenes. But even after being together for months, it is all they are doing. Attack it like a bunny. Sincerely, their relationship is nothing more than sex and, um, chatting about Sunny. Will Adam stoke tension between Joss and Dex in GH? So, when a rather charming Adam is added to that mix on General Hospital, we can't help but wonder what will happen. He has already extended a sincere offer to Joss to join his study group. Dex concurred and advised her to enroll. So it stands to reason that Joss and Adam will likely spend a lot of time together in the following episodes. And we completely understand where this is headed given how soap operas operate. A romance including Joss, Adam, and Dex. And if you ask us, Joss and Adam's scenes together absolutely pass the chemistry test. Interrogating women, confronting gotchas, and giving unsolicited advice. In your face gotchas, and unwanted advice are common jokes on General Hospital among its cast. Questions from Jocelyn Jacks Thompson Robinson, a combative gotcha, is delivered by Anna Devane, while Carly Spencer offers unwanted advice. Featured hospitals in general. In their PCU dorm room, Trina and Jocelyn take a break from unpacking boxes to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Evidently, Trinan has informed her pal about Spencer Cassidine's planned romantic getaway to New York City. Jocelyn asks her if she's prepared for it, apparently anticipating that Trinan and Spencer will get married. Although there's a good chance of it happening, Trinan and Spencer have shared a bedroom alone before. This sounds more nicer than hiding out in a hijacked haunted star on the route to Greenland, I hope. 
Spencer Cassadine requests a favor on GH. Spencer, Nancy Lee Gran, is now preparing the trip while speaking with his great aunt Alexis Davis. As he previously told Trina, he needs her to keep an eye on Esme Prince, Avery Kristen Pohl. He then asks her for one more favor. Backslash, while Ace Prince Cassadine is in New York City with Trina, she will be left alone with him. Esme leaving town with the child is the last thing anyone needs to happen, even though it doesn't appear like she would. However, Trina is still unsure that his ex-girlfriend isn't fabricating her amnesia. And Spencer knows better than to blindly believe his ex. The General Hospital would like to meet you here. Tracy Quartermain welcomes a dinner guest at the Metro Court, who she has definitely communicated with frequently but has never met in person. She extends her hand for a handshake and says, It's nice to finally meet you too. Blair Kramer, Cassie DePapa, who also happens to be Martin Gray's, Michael E. Knight, third ex-wife, is most likely her guest. The fact that Martin is seated nearby at a table with Lucy Coe, Lynn Herring, may not be a coincidence. They should have a fun, though uncomfortable, evening because of this. Jeannie to Martin Gray notices a strange observation. Martin appears uneasy, and in fact, he wants to leave the Metro Court early, which Lucy cannot help but notice. She informs him that she believes she understands Tracy's need to leave even though she might not be aware that Blair is his ex-wife. General Hospital Confrontational Gotchas A hostile gotcha is delivered by Anna as Valentin Cassadine appears to be a toddler with his hand in the cookie jar elsewhere. What else is he hiding from Anna? asks Anna. Since Don Falconeri informed Anna that Valentin didn't attend ELQ the night her home was set on fire, Anna has been keeping an eye on him. She thinks he might have a closer relationship with Pikeman than he has disclosed. She is now unsure of how much she can trust him. G.H. Unexpected Turn of Events Austin Gatlin Holt visited Potok in the meantime to see how Nicholas Cassidine was doing at home. Austin inquires as to what Nicholas is just in time for when he is told by him that he is. Just in time to say farewell, according to Nicholas, but is he really stating that Austin should say goodbye or that Nicholas should say goodbye? The course of events has definitely taken an unexpected and startling turn. Unsolicited advice for General Hospital Ava Jerome, Mora West, in another scene, gets unsolicited advice from Carly up Sunny Corinthos. Carly explains to Ava that by helping Sunny, she is also helping her. It is clear that Ava believes Sunny told Carly the whole truth about her position, but he didn't. It is also clear that Carly came to this conclusion on her own when Sunny hired Drew Kane to learn who Austin visited in Pentonville. There will undoubtedly be some tense conversation between Ava and Carly. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.